Alrighty, here's the damage. Um, fun fact, well, gosh, it was like only about halfway through the day and I weighed my fabric purchases and they weighed eight pounds. So that's what we are about to get into. I probably bought from maybe five stores today, a um, couple pieces from each one. So I'll go through them one by one so you can see everything. Stay tuned. Okay, so first up, we went to B&J Fabrics. Um, if you don't know New York City, B&J is really nice, very clean, very organized, and they have a lot of really, really nice fabrics. The prices can be very expensive. I saw some Valentino silk cotton something brocade that was like $210 a yard, but you can also find some really affordable things as well. And I can always just trust that the quality is really good. So I've been wanting to make another seamwork uh, denim jacket like I was wearing earlier today. So I picked up this like mauve pink denim. Um, this I think was like $13 a yard. Um, and I just feel like it's got just enough, um, stretch, um, and it's a really good weight for the, um, jacket and it's a little bit brushed on the inside. So it will be nice and cozy against my skin. Um, and then, so my splurge there was this, um, gosh, Amber, was it hundred percent cotton? Mm. I can't remember. Does it stretch? Is it like It was a stretch twill or is a stretch twill. Let me try and get you a big shot of the of the print. So it's a stretch twill. A lot of really fun, vibrant colors. It's very soft, um, structured a little bit. And I think it's going to be a really great fit and flare dress, maybe something with princess seams, probably sleeveless. Um, it on focus. Oh, it will eventually. Okay. Yeah, you just, you just I'm keep not rolling through the unfocus. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyways, and this was like 35 a yard, I think. So I ended up getting oh, a yard and a half or two yards, I can't remember. Um, but I am just loving orange lately. Everything I was picking out on this trip um, kept being like orange and blue, orange and this, orange and that. So I think this will be a really beautiful dress. And it was like one of my big splurges from the trip. Okay, after B&J, then we went to Swan. Remember I filmed from there? The one that had like the super narrow walkway to get through. Um, so everything there was really, really cheap. I think all of these were $7 a yard. I'm pretty sure they were all $7. Um, so I got this striped cotton, again with the orange, just a yard. Um, but I liked the navy, the pink, the lime, and the orange all together. And this is just going to be a cute little willow tank or some kind of basic top. You remember whenever I was doing Me Made May, uh, there was like a shortage of tops in my collection. So I really tried to get fabrics that I knew I would want to make tops out of. That's also what this is going to be. This reminds me of like seagulls and the beach, but without being too like kitschy. Um, also a bit of an Asian vibe going, which I think is pretty. So I was picturing some kind of like flutter sleeve top. Mm -hmm. Um, it is polyester and it kind of feels like polyester, maybe a little bit crepe like, but, um, you know, it just, I think it'll look really pretty and you can dress it up and dress it down. And I don't know. I just really liked the coloring and I liked the little bird looking things on there. And again, $7 a yard. So I got a couple, or I to get a yard and a half of that to account for the sleeves. And then, so Amber actually found um, this first and then ended up picking a different colorway, a more royal blue, like a more vibrant blue. And the more I was looking at this one, the more I was like, you know, I really like that. So this is a cotton sateen, um, stretched cotton sateen, and it I got enough to make a dress. So probably another one of my thin flare dresses, maybe the Royal Wedding Sew Along um, pattern, which is New Look 6526, uh, maybe something like that. But I mean, navy and white stripes with kind of like the edgy variation of the stripes. Yeah, I just really, really 
kind of fell for this one and the price was really good. So there's that. Then we went to Grainline Linen. Um, again, I pretty sure I vlogged after leaving there to tell you guys how great Grainline was and how you could go online and order these um, from their website. So if you really like them, um, you can get them for yourself. You just have to pay shipping and taxes. <laughs> okay, so the first one, let me see, is this the wrong side? You think so? Well, they kind of look the same. You'll get the idea without me having to unfold it. So it is, this background is like a little bit ivory, and then it's kind of like ombre, where it goes from like a blue-green orange all the way down to a pinky purple, and then a blue and orange on the bottom. So kind of, you know, changes colors. So I'm thinking of a fit and flare dress with a waistband, but I want it to go this way so that the green is on the bottom and this will be like bust area, waist area, and hem. I'm hoping it's going to take some, you know, playing around with the, with the pattern placement to get it right. But I still think it can be really cool to showcase all of the stripes in some, in some fashion. So we'll see how that ends up panning out, but it was just so different from anything I'd ever seen in linen or otherwise. Um, this one I got with a very specific plan in mind. It's this really gorgeous, like green grass, grassy green. And I want to, I want to make the Mimi G Jessica dress out of this. I already have the pattern. Um, just need to print it and make it. So this one feels really really soft I know it's gonna wash up beautifully and it's gonna make one of those really cool like washed and worn Jessica's that I think is gonna be really cute and then this guy so red is not usually a color I pick for myself a lot of you when I made the poppy dress said like you look really great in red you should make it more often so this is for all of you guys but this one I wanted to make the new McCall's pattern the one that has the bodice that ties in the front and then has that little cut out there and those huge palazzo pants that is what this is for like I looked up the yardage and I got exactly what I needed just to make that so that is what this will end up being they had a lot of colorways of this they had an orange kind of like a gray green a blue um gosh maybe like a black or I don't know they had a bunch of different colors of this and again it's one of those that feels really really soft this one is a little bit scratchy and I'm interested to see, or not scratchy, but like really, really stiff. So I'm interested to see how it's gonna wash up. Um, these two already feel like rayon-y, soft and smooth. So I don't know, we'll see what happens whenever all the stabilizers come off of the linens. Okay, then we went to, okay, so we went back to Janky. You follow me on Instagram, you could see that we got out of there unscathed this time. No drama, no fighting. Everyone was actually in a really, really great mood. So um, that was good to see that the store hadn't been burned to the ground by a disgruntled employee. I'm making me make the camera shake. Like, uh. <laughs> um, but I actually didn't find as much there as I thought I would. Um, and it might have just been a little bit of fatigue at that point because we hadn't had lunch and we'd been kind of going at this for a few hours. But what I did get was this is a slubby linen. And I know you're like, you just got all that really great linen. But it has this awesome embroidered border. Um, it's a one, only one of the selvages has this border on it. So you have more of the main body fabric. So I didn't have to buy that much and it was really cheap at like, what was it, seven or eight dollars a yard? Yeah, so. Something like that. So it's this um, really pretty like seafoam greeny blue color. I'm not sure how it's showing up on camera, but um, I just think that that is gonna make a cute little shift dress um, or something really light and breezy, perfect for the beach. Um, so yeah, we both, Amber got, um, what a color did you get? Navy. Navy with, with yeah. the embroidery. Because Carolyn had it. Oh, yeah. from Diary of a mm -hmm. Sewing Fanatic. Yeah, that she, it? yeah. So I decided to copy Carolyn because it was so pretty when she showed me. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so this one is a little unassuming. It's just kind of like a solid. The color is really pretty. It's like a tomato red, kind of like a red with pink in it. 
but it is a cotton silk blend and it feels really amazing. It also this is the one I didn't see. It also feels like it has like a brushed quality to mm -hmm. it or sanded. Sanded, okay. yeah. The color is not showing up right on here. It's is like it here, does so this much help? brighter. Let's see. The hell? <gasps> Put a no. spotlight on it. It's it's reading more orangey in this video, but it's got more of like a I don't know. Does it look better up against my skin tone than the white sheets? It's still looking a little orangey. Okay, well, it's you'll really have to pretty take our word person. for it. It's really pretty in person, and at like oh gosh, eight dollars a yard maybe. Um, it's gonna make a really great solid top that I can wear with like pattern shorts or jean shorts or whatever. Um, so. It was kind of a no-brainer. It was one of those things that I wouldn't have bought it online probably, but seeing it in person, feeling it in person, all of that just really sold me on it. And the price was right. So then after that, we went to lunch and I was feeling rejuvenated and ready to go again. Um, we went to Fabrics and Fabrics. Oh, there's like more in this bag that I totally oh. forgot about. <laughs> Because we had dropped off Oops. all these fabrics at the hotel room. I emptied oh my out my gosh. bag. And so there are actually ending. two more. I am never going to get all this home. I don't know what <laughs> I'm going to do tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. Um, okay, so then we went to Fabrics and Fabrics. And another great little shop. The owner there, Pi, remembered me. Actually a really big shop. It is. It is actually very big. Um, but I guess I meant so. There weren't a lot of workers. There wasn't a lot. I, at B and J, there are so yeah. many people there working. This one had like two people. Mm -hmm. um, but the owner Pi remembered me from last year. He's like, "Aren't you the internet girl?" And I'm like, "Whoa! I cannot believe you remembered that." Um, anyway, so they have a lot of really great quality stuff too. I think they're most known for their silks. They have a huge selection of silks and every kind of substrate that you can imagine. Um, but living in South Carolina, like I'm not really buying silks because we, it's just so humid and for better or worse, we get really sweaty down there. So I'm just not trying to ruin any silk with my bodily functions. But I was able to find some polyester prints um, that I think will be good. I know you're thinking polyester, that's so hot and not breathable. True, but it also washes really well and will stand up to the elements of the humidity and heat and all of that. So the first one um, is this adorable stripe with a floral border print. So Amber spotted this one. It was like way high up on the ceiling, um, buried underneath a whole bunch of other fabrics and they pulled it down for me. At first we thought it was this all over. We didn't realize that it stopped. Um, so it's got kind of like a PK quality to it. It's got like a bit of a woven, a woven element to it. But I mean, I just couldn't resist the colors, you know, navy, ivory, and pink. I mean, come on, like this is great. So it's going to be, you know, a fit and flare dress, um, that, because that's just what I like to wear. It's what I like to make. It's what I like to wear. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And obviously this will be at the hem. I don't know how I'm going to play up the bodice yet. Maybe the flowers make an appearance. Maybe they won't. But um, I'm thinking probably not right now. But so fell in love with that one. And then Amber also spotted this one. Um, and this has more of a cotton feel to it. Don't you think? Um, I mean, it was in the polyester yeah. section. Well, but it, it was the one that was like bonded. It's it is bonded. Like so maybe it's like a cotton webbing and the polyester is bonded on top. See that? Hard to That's say exactly so what's going on here, yeah. but it's still, I mean, it's obviously more stable. It's like has a light interfacing all mm -hmm. over it. Honestly, it'd probably make a really great button up shirt. So maybe I'll make a shirt dress out of this. Mm, that'd be cute. Yeah. At first I was like, this is kind of a lot for full body <laughs> garment. You know, maybe it should just be a skirt, but this is all they had left. And so they gave me a good deal on buying all that was left because they didn't want to, they didn't want to end up with three quarters of a yard of something that they knew they wouldn't be able to sell. So they gave me a good deal on it. Um, he ended up like rounding down, it was like two and a quarter yards. He rounded down to two yards and then gave me $3 off the yardage price. So I got this whole two and a quarter yard piece for $30. So that's not bad, but it has, you know, a lot of really great colors in it. And yeah, I'm thinking shirt dress for sure. Yeah, that'd be so cute. Yeah, super cute. 
Okay, so then we left Fabrics and Fabrics and we went to Elliot Berman Fabrics. Um, the owner there also recognized Amber and me both um, and was like, haven't you guys been here before? And we were like, yeah, we came last year, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, so she was really great, super sweet, was, you know, talking to us about um, making sure to tag them every single time we make something with their makes. That's really important to them. So. Um, you'll probably see some of this appear on my social media but so the first one is a what section were these like were these rayon they had to have been because they mm -hmm. do a lot mm -hmm. of yeah. viscose a lot of italian viscose mm -hmm. and stuff like that there um so i have a feeling that this is 100 percent rayon but it's got this dark background. I'm pretty sure it's navy. It has the blue and the pink and yellow. They kind of look like um, candy corns. <laughs> Party <laughs> hat candy does. corns. That's funny. But, um, but yeah, I saw that and just thought, again, it would make a really cute top flutter sleeve maybe. Um, something, but it feels amazing. This one just feels really good. Yeah. Um, I also grabbed this. I think it's a cotton twill, stretch twill. Um, yeah, a stretch twill. I just fell in love with the coloring here, the blue, and then the baby pink with the white background. It's got a lot of like fauna over it, I guess, but it's almost like stamped on. I don't know. It's just a really cool print. And it's not the same. It kind of makes a stripe. So if you can see that it has a stripe here and a stripe here. So I'll have to play that up some way, but it just feels really really great and you know the fabrics that i got from them last year um sewed up really great you mm -hmm. guys all really loved them so i know the quality is there um so another one i'm really excited about and these weren't that expensive i feel like i got this for 15 a yard and this for 18 16 18 something like that so i mean they do have more expensive things there too with all of that imported rayon and viscose and all of that but um but it doesn't all have to be expensive. You can dig and you can find good things and you can be really nice to the owners and maybe they'll give you some, some discounts. I don't know that she did that, but she might have. Cause she's the owner and she can decide to do whatever she wants. Okay, so after that we left there and we walked down to a store we had never been to before. It is called True Mart True, Discount Fabrics. True Mart Discount mm -hmm. Fabrics. And it's near the FIT Museum if you head that way hit them both up. Okay, so True Mart Discount Fabrics was very small, but it was promising from the very beginning because they had these huge bins right outside the front door, $2 a yard, $5 a yard, so we knew we were in the right place. Um, we went in there, they had a couple employees. One of them you could tell was like owner type and knew the selection really well. The other guy was just like the worker bee and he was kind of like, I don't know. I mean, he knew a little bit, but not as much as the owner guy. So, and his, what did he say his name was? David or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and so I would see something, cause they had floor to ceiling fabric and then bolts leaned up on the fabric. You couldn't, you could, there's no way to take in all of their inventory there. So I would see something that I liked and I would say, you know, do you have this in another colorway? Do you have this in another print? Do you have fab more fabrics that feel like this one? And have him help me shop. So that's how I ended up with so much stuff. Also, he was really good at saying, this is the end of the bolt. I'll give it, for you, give it to you for a really good discount. And so some of this stuff I got for so cheap, it was basically like wearable muslins. Like how could I say no? Um, not factoring in, I have no idea how I'm gonna get all this home. But um, let's see. The first one, let's start with what I remember for sure. And that is this lovely cotton sateen with these really cute yellow birds all over it. He told me after I had committed to buying it that it was Carolina Herrera. No idea how to verify that, although he promised me that I could go online and I would find dresses made out of this. We're gonna look. But it has a pretty like sky blue and then these yellow little finch birds or something humming, all humming birds humming birds okay <laughs> amber knows her you know my birds <laughs> those are birds better than me um but so yeah this was really sweet really cute when i showed it to amber she's like yes you have to get that that was no-brainer 
Then he was showing me around the linen section and I was like, oh, I don't know. We just bought all this linen. And then I spotted this color and I said, you know, that actually is a color I really like. It's a faded like sage green. It looked a lot more blue in the store. So I wonder if in natural daylight it will change a little bit, but it is a rayon linen. It's got some weight to it. It's a little bit hefty. So I thought it would make for a perfect little cropped jacket, um, maybe with three quarter sleeves or something. But because it has that brushed quality to it, it could also be a really great like denim jacket. You know, I could make another seam work jacket out of this. Um, so, but I don't know, it's a little bit drapey too. So I don't know. I had in mind to get it for a like little cropped jacket that had like less frills and less stuff going on, something more simple. So we'll see, but it does feel really good. It feels a lot more like rayon twill than it does linen. That's for sure. If it has linen in it, I bet it's like 30% <laughs> or something like that. But um, yeah, it feels really, really good. So excited about that one. Then I was like ready to check out and Amber's like, oh, what about this? And oh, what about that? So she pointed out this to me. This was in their cotton section and it's like a, a crinkle cotton with a stripe like a little baby, baby stripe. And so she mentioned wide leg pants. And I said, you know what? That would be really cute. I've been seeing those high waisted, defined waistband, huge palazzo type pants all over the place lately. And I thought, you know, that would be really cute out of this because it is a print, mm -hmm. but it's also um, from far away. Doesn't really look like a print. And because it already has the wrinkles in it, like who cares if you sit down and get it all wrinkly, it kind of like blends in. And he gave me this for $5 a yard. So, or was it this? Yeah, this ended that up being- cheap too though. It was. I don't remember how much, but it was not expensive. Because like I said, it already made up my mind and I was ready to check out and these were like afterthoughts that he was like, these girls can help me get rid of some inventory. <laughs> so let's give them a good deal. Um, so it may have been like five or $6 a yard, something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to make those new kind of fun silhouette for me pants that don't require a ton of fitting. So I'm excited about that. Maybe that'll be my July. Um, so my style project instead of shorts, I don't know. I was thinking about making another pair of goji shorts from deer and doe for my July. So my style, because I'm not going to make the Forsyth trousers at the, or the, or the, whatever the pants patterns are, lander pants, they're very fitted, you know, they would take a lot of fitting for me. Um, so I knew immediately I was going to abandon those, but I thought I would abandon them for shorts, but now I'm thinking maybe I'll try and do something out of this. And I bet I could even convert that McCall's pattern with the little twisty top and just into pants and make them into pants. Just take the pants just, and the waistband or those, and finish off the waistband. You know, your pineapple shorts, That's the go make ones. those into pants. Yeah. Oh, or make the paper bag ones. Yeah, yeah that's true. That'd be cute too. Anyway. Anyways, digressing here into a plans video. All right, so then he showed me this. Again, it came from their cotton section. It, it's really stretchy. Like cotton span, he thought maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe a cotton rayon span. Um, he wasn't sure. But it's black with these little diamonds. So it's going to be a fit and flare dress. I mean, this is going to be quick, simple, dirty, fit and flare dress that will be easy because it's black and white and you know just a cute little almost like an e-cat print mm -hmm. with the diamonds. you know the diamonds that aren't perfectly defined so this was i got the rest of what was left and i want to say it was like five dollars a yard so ended up being a really good deal super cheap dress and that is it folks that is my New York City day three fabric haul. Okay, bonus footage. Amber is going to do her fabric haul now. She just counted how many pieces? 15. 15 pieces. Yeah. Um, okay, so yesterday I also got the zippers and thread, like Lindsay at, um, where was that? Sill. And then this is stretch cotton from, where was that? Mood? Day? No, no, no. Uh, after mood. Oh, shoot, where did we go? I can't remember. It's where the bargain bin was. Oh, um, chic. 
Chic, chic yeah. Yes, from Chic. This was the only one I picked up at Chic. Navy stretch, stretch something. It's not cotton, but anyway, floral, cute. Very cute. What are you gonna make with it? Dress. Okay. Fitted bodice. Fit and flare. flare skirt or pleated. Not Perfect. Sure. Um, next was, I don't know if this is next, but this was Janky Store, mm -hmm. I think, a material world. Um, first, I picked up this navy. Oh, right. You saw Lindsay had like the sage green. This is the navy one, and Carolyn had this fabric, and I thought it was super cute. So when I saw it, I had to get some too. For I flattery think, is the I know biggest form of wait <laughs> imitation is the biggest form of flattery. So we can be twins. So and you're gonna make a just, dress, right? A ship I dress. Think so it's a little sheer. But we'll you kind of see. Yeah, we were thinking about lining them with like some out. lawn or yeah, some, some light and expensive cotton to keep it breathable. So, and it's just a single border on one edge, not both. Mm-hmm. It was a good price, I think. Um, and then I picked up this leaf print cotton sateen. Um, is it a stretch? Yes, yeah, slight and just slight stretch. Um, and it's kind of a sage green. I just thought it was cute. Like it is cute. Prints. What are you going to make out of that? A dress? Dress. Cute. So dresses. <laughs> Listen, we live in our dresses in the South. That's all there is to yeah. it. And oh, then, funny story about this yeah. one. So I walked by this fabric and I said, I bet Amber is really going to like this, but I've had such a bad track record of pointing out fabrics to Amber and her being like, no, not really. I don't like that. So I was like, I'm going to subtly hint. So I pulled it out, made it very easy for her to see. It was got like a, right next to this one. And I was a, like, hmm, this is my colors. So. I got a big swatch of it out so she, it wouldn't, she couldn't miss it. And sure enough, she walked by. She saw the, she went, she'd already spotted the green one. So she was going to tell the girl to cut some of the green one. And then she saw that one and added it to her cart. So I won. Yep. And it was, <laughs> it was like, what, eight or ten? For... Yeah, eight, I think. So I was thinking, actually, I had a pattern in mind. Of, it was like a McCall's shift dress that was kind of summery. So we'll see. But yeah, it it's cute. really cute and it looks just like Black you. colors. Yeah. So. Yeah, here's that, your jam. Um, oh, this is from Gray Line <clears throat> Linen. And this was our first time visiting that store. Oh, and I got yeah. Um, this was like your splurge, probably. Close. Yeah, this might be the. Well, well was it? fabrics yeah. and fabrics. I don't know. Or oh, Elliot Berman, Elliot, you yeah. probably spent the mm -hmm. same amount, but. I think it was only 16 a yard, and I've seen these digital printed linens for more like 24 to 30. Yeah, online. it really is so yeah, pretty yeah. with the blues and pinks. Yeah, yeah. I love it so this much. I told her I was going to be jealous really of this. Unique, interesting print. There's like. A green and pink one that Lindsay should order online if she. I know, I know. So I'm thinking about it. Okay, we had to change the battery, but we're back. Okay. Um, and then the second linen that I grabbed was this. Whoa. Oh, okay, this is reading very orange. Yeah, I promise you, it is like a tomato. Tomatoey red. Red. This is um, not like. This is not like traffic cone orange, which yeah. is how it's reading. I wish that oh, there was really a way. Pretty. From far we'll away or, or up close, here. will the white balance? <laughs> occur no it's not happening okay promise you it's more of a red yeah but she got a good deal on that one because it has some faults Little some <sighs> that he showed me and Lindsay was like what spots and that either maybe they'll wash out or they were so tiny I could cut around them they were like little but... black scuffs and so this was three dollars cheaper than the same fabric without any issues with it and I just was like I don't see the issues and then we flipped over the fabric and on the other side you definitely couldn't see them and so I was just like I'm feeling like you should was, just get yeah, the cheap, cheap like fabric. $6. Six dollars so, for really great well, quality yeah. linen. Anyway. So mm -hmm. I talked her into getting the messed up one hopefully. <laughs> They'll either come out or like she said she'll be able to cut around them you won't yeah. be able to see them anyways. Okay, so. okay this was uh, what was it Swan? Swan yeah. Okay. So this is the brighter blue. That is so pretty. I yeah. do love my navy, but this is a really yeah, I pretty blue. the navy and then the owner was like, oh, I have this in another color. So he brought this out and it was just 
a little different and I made Lindsay vote and, and then we both got them. I said, you get that one and I'll get the navy one. <laughs> so we can be twins sort of. So something cute. I don't know. It's stretch cotton sateen, I guess. Yeah. It is a really pretty blue. And then this is kind of a funky <laughs> print, but it's a rayon crepe. And we we didn't really see that many rayon crepes or mm -mm. rayon chalet. It's not as popular in the New York stores as it is online, I think, right now. But yeah. This was just, I don't know, kind of weird print, but I could picture some yeah. sort of a dress. Yeah. And, and it just feels so nice. And Amber loves emerald green as much as she loves blue. Mm -hmm. So we didn't yeah. see a lot of green fabrics yeah. either. So it was a good. Price. I think it looks funky on one big piece, but when you it cut it all up to up make a course, dress. But I think maybe from a distance, it's just like geometric print. I agree. We'll see. That's what I think. It, let's see. Um, so that was Swan. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, and then this was Prime, like the one store Lindsay didn't buy anything. From. Woo woo! I show restraint. I, I can say no. So another kind of leafy print or graphic -y scribble. It's like another, I guess, tomatoey bread, red, red, bright red. What yeah, it's it? showing up a little bit orange, but sort of close to true red, on the camera. So what was it? Stretch cotton sateen. Yeah, he had like a whole table of it. And when we first walked in, yeah. he said they were $10 a yard. We the longer we stayed, he said, you know what? Eight. He took a little nap while we were in the back. So I think he <laughs> felt a little well rested. And so he's like, you know what? I'll get, I'll give it to you for eight. Yeah. So. And then it rained, and so we hung out with. Oh that my god! Her. It poured. It more than rained. It like yeah. downpoured. Yeah. But we just stayed and hung out with that guy and listened to and some news. We tried our bargaining again in the back and got this down to eight, because I think originally he said ten. ten. Mm -hmm. And this I think is an ity knit. Yeah, the leaves are more magenta in real life than they're showing up with here. With like gray background. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was kind of cute. Yeah. So. And we all know Amber loves a knit dress, so. Mm -hmm. Fun. Oh, that color, it looks more true to color now okay. whenever she puts it up there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's really hard to see it all <laughs> stocked so up many. like this. Oh. Okay, so this was from Elliot. Is it Beerman or Berman? Berman. Berman. Okay. She has really nice imported fabrics and her knits feel amazing always. Like this is a um, rayon viscose knit. Um, spandex, stretchy. It just feels heavenly. Is it navy or black? It's navy. Yeah. She had a black of this oh, one okay. too, but I love navy and red because I've got more navy and red <laughs> for this next one. Yeah. Um, anyway, geometric print. So another yeah. cute knit dress. And you got that for like 16 a yard too, right? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this one I oh. really loved. And uh, this is a rayon chalet, I think. Feels like it. Um, another navy flowers with red and like kind of a cream background. But I just, this might be my favorite. I know that's so pretty. of everything you got. I love that. Yeah. That was one where when I saw it, I didn't even have to. Yeah. I think she hesitate. probably could have told Amber it was $25 a yard and she still would have gotten it. I was expecting 20 or higher than 20. And so when she was like, what? 16, yeah. 18, something like that. I was like, so yeah, she didn't skip a dresses. beat and she had been like hemming and hawing and hemming and hawing when we were at fabrics and fabrics. Mm -hmm. Cause they have so many pretty silks, but I'm not really on a silk budget. So it yeah. would have been a splurge, but there was one there that she things. loved and she kept thinking about it, thinking about mm -hmm. it. She just could not make up her mind. And then she goes here, finds this one and yeah. just so, was like, when you know, love. you know, true, so true. Pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so last bag. This was from Discount True Mart, which was our first time visiting that store as well. This is a rib knit, and I think it's it feels like rayon spandex. It is buttery soft. Yeah, it's stretchy. it's wine colored, not yeah. this weird brown. It's, but funny story, they had this labeled as wife beater yes, fabric wife because beater. that's right. what wife beater tank tops yeah. are made from you know rib knit mm -hmm. um and i just thought that that was hysterical yeah and i got a really good price because it was the end of the bolt yeah. so i only wanted like one yard. yard but there was 
uh, at least a yard and a half. And so he gave me the rest for free pretty much. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like I said, he yeah. was, he was ready to make some deals, yeah. that owner guy. So they were nice. Um, David, I think his name is David. That sounds right. This one, um, I spotted in the bin outside. <laughs> yeah, the two dollar bin. It was rainy and we ran inside and I but I spotted this outside and grabbed it and it was also the end of the bolt and it was like two dollars for um two dollars a yard and I think it's a little over two yards or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's definitely but, a purple background. Like I would have paid not more blue. for that. I mean it's a little dirty because it was outside, but it um, feels really good. So cute, yeah. Rayon Shelly. Purpley print. Yeah, I don't know if those guys are buying end of bolt stuff. Some. But they were real yeah. low on a lot of fabrics. Mm -hmm. So it made yeah. me feel like that's how they were staying in business, mm -hmm. selling end of bolt stuff. Yeah, something. And then this one, Lindsay spotted because she was, she felt um, a black, was it a tensile twill or is it a cup row? I wasn't sure. Oh, really, like a sanded, no one knows. Yeah. Sanded drapey woven they had a black one in the store and then he said they had this purpley color outside so and we he, all know what outside fabric means yeah so he grabbed Deal. it and it was like five dollars a yard yeah. i think so i got two yards so that's ten dollar yeah dress. and again it's it's grape purpley grape not blue even yeah. though it looks like blue because of the white sheet though it's like it's pretty grape and these two match yeah pretty close yeah yeah so i'm Got the purples covered too. No. Is that it? Yep. Yay. So there's Amber's fabric haul from our whole week here um, in New York City. And we still have a little bit to do tomorrow, but I think after seeing these stacks, <laughs> we might have some more restraint right. than we would have if we hadn't laid this all out. So, anyways, but you love it all, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. So fun. So inspired. Yay. Yay. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>